the, the three of us have worked together for so long now, a decade, that's the three of us, and Denise and I for 22 years. So it's collaboration all the way. The dress and the coat that goes with it, we, um, we came up with it in an afternoon, and we were working with many ideas, men's and women's, because of course there are two ensembles. Um, I did gel the women's dress and coat so I led the process in the end, because you do have to have a dictator. And Benny led the process with the men's. But definitely the three of us, you know, put our um, thinking caps on and, and all added to the final outcome. So it was a really, it, it always is collaboration with us. We, we took it as a, as a one-off opportunity. It was just extravagance. We are able to... Um, design something that in reality would never we would never be able to do because we do wedding dresses occasionally we do about four a year and of course it's the bride that leads it I mean it's one thing that we do do very quietly we don't advertise it and it's for very good customers so very much it's the dress for the woman so we take lead from the client but of course to Papa the client is freak you guys want something that will go down in history. And we're very lucky to be able to put our DNA into that dress. So it is, in a way, the world's wedding dress as opposed to the client's wedding dress. For example, we made a wedding dress for a um, really lucky young woman who happens to live in New York, and she was a client of ours. Um, she worked in the music industry, and she decided she wanted a New Zealand-made wedding dress. So it, it's something where it was a collaboration. We worked together, we finalised what she wanted, um, chose the fabric. We usually always make three dresses before the final so that they're really sure. So we do the first one in calico, which is just a cotton. Um, second one, we do it in... Um, a, a, a fabric that's close to the real thing. And then the third one, we actually make the dress in the fabric. And then, if we're lucky, we don't have to do a fourth. We just alter the third. But if not, we do a fourth one, and that's perfect. And that's the dress that the bride takes away. And we do also offer that we would dress the bride on the day if they wanted. We do that because it's such a special dress that we need to be there from the beginning to the end. When I went to New York and fitted the dress, because I flew to New York and spent the day with the bride and fitted the dress on, the, on her and um, helped her with jewellery. It was, I was very privileged because the mother had bought really special jewellery as an, her, new, her heirlooms. And so she asked me, you know, do, should I wear it? And, I, and she wasn't sure. And I said, absolutely. Um, it was nice for me to be able to add my, I don't know, experience or maybe my... The word is taste. I don't know if that's the right word. Just my sense of theatre to the occasion for her. And she had the most wonderful day. Wonderful day. And that's, that's, that's all you can hope for, actually, as a fashion designer, is to make your client really happy. I mean, when you boil it right down, I make women feel beautiful. That's what I do.